All right, so here we are in front of the Geminis GT5i 1.4 meter swing uh, machine with six meters between centers. This is a four bed guideway machine. That means that the carriage is mounted to the front uh, two guideways, the half, front half of the middle guideway, the front guideway, and the lower guideway. And then the steady rests and tailstock are all mounted to the rear guideways. That gives us the ability to move that carriage all the way down through the steady rests. As you can see, ergonomics for Geminis are a very big point. This is a 1.4 meter swing machine. It can swing 55 inch diameter, but we still have great access to the part great access to measure the part, check the part as we're machining along, as well as maintain the tools. So if we come down to the tooling area, we can change tools here, check tools, check inserts, and we have very good access to do all that without having to climb up in and over a part. The tailstock on this machine is an NC servo tailstock. The quill is driven by an NC servo motor. You can see the digital readout on the top. That's what measures the thrust of the spindle of the of the quill and the quill will maintain a constant thrust so if we're we can program a thrust of so many uh, newtons and as we machine if that shaft grows due to the heat generated during the cutting process that tailstock the servo system in the tailstock will relax itself so that it maintains the, the constant thrust on the part and doesn't induce uh, undue stress into that part this machine GT5i is equipped with the quick change carriage. So you can see here there's a separation point in the carriage. The cables here are plugged into the fluids or into the electrical connections. And then if we want to change over from this four position turret to one of the other accessories we'll look at in a second, we simply disconnect these connectors. We hit the hit the uh, zero point button on the CNC control panel, which unclamps the turret. We pick this turret up and set it down on a waiting station. And then we can add any one of these options over here to the, uh, to the machine. So here we have a boring bar holder that can go right on that carriage. This is a four inch diameter boring bar, but we have capability to run up to an eight inch diameter boring bar, so a 200 millimeter diameter boring bar. So this can be set right on top of there. This milling column can also be set right on top of that carriage. And this milling column gives you 50 taper, 30 horsepower uh, milling capability uh, with a Y axis. So it can mill OD or it can be manually indexed, manually rotated uh, and clamped in place to mill on the face of a part as well. Uh, over here, we have a milling column that's designed to attach to the four station turret that's in the machine currently. So you can see the dovetail clamp here. This dovetail clamp allows us to bloat it right into that four position turret. And again, we can mount it on the side for OD milling or we can mount it on the face for face milling of the part. So it gives you the ability, same, same thing, same Y axis travel, not as much Y axis travel as the milling column but it does give you Y-axis travel here as well for milling, milling operations. This is again a 50 taper, 30 horsepower milling unit. If you're interested in learning more about this machine, please feel free to reach out to your local select distributor, whether it's Morris, Gossiger, or Hardwig, or Arizona CNC, uh, or feel free to contact us here at Select Machining Technologies.